So we're going to work into some of the leg stretches for Shiatsu here. Um, Matt crosses several genres of martial arts training. And I think for the kickers, it's important to get some of the long stretches into the muscles and the opening out. They tend to get forgotten um, as training practices progress. We move more and more towards perhaps the combative aspects of martial art training. And a lot of the stretches that we might have been doing in the early days, you know, certainly when I started, a good half hour of quite deep sort of Japanese yoga stretches coming on, that tends to get lost now or is the first thing to get shaved out of a class when we want to focus on takedowns or you know kicking techniques into shields or sparring even. So just as we start I'm just lightly opening up into Matt's hips here and again as always I'm just building my frame of reference and checking the lines of the body, lines of the clothing to an extent um, here I mean I have just asked Matt to to lay down now, so my frame of reference is not the fact that I've got this big crease going through his top now and that that signifies anything, but that's my frame of reference, that's my starting point. So as that starts to change, then I know what's going on. So I'm just working feet, soles of the feet, opening up the toes, stretching into them. Hips. Nice exercise here. He's laying on his back, arms are out, palms up, relaxed, and just a nice gentle shake through the spine. So again, this is a great way to check through and see where there's any locks in the body, muscular locks going on. It's opened up quite nicely. There's a little bit of tension up behind right shoulder, high on the right shoulder side. I'm looking to see how the, the hands, the neck is moving right the way up through the body. And then we can just do a nice long stretch into the spine. So deep breath in for me. There it go. I just use my body positioning to affect change and apply the stretches. So, you know, I can be doing sessions like this all day long without getting really fatigued. Um, which is difficult to do if you were working on a couch. Working on a massage couch, you tend to uh, get right up into your own shoulders, and so by the end of the day, you're pretty exhausted from it. Here, uh, much like training in martial arts, I feel pretty good at the end of a, a session. And you probably notice a lot of my posture changes and movements. So it's a workout for me just as, as much for Matt. As he inhales, I just ease off slightly and then exhaling back. And then. So I want to get into these larger muscles of the legs. And a lot of martial artists tend to suffer with knee aches, knee joint issues as well. So just as I begin here, I tend to circle up from the feet and just use my fingers and thumbs to work around the pressure points of the kneecap and I'll be getting into the back of the knee as well. People sometimes have like clicking ankles and things like that which results from the tension from the tendons running down from the knees into the feet and the ankles. Just opening up. Hand is in the back of the knee. And just open that joint up. So, simple hip rotation. Always changing my body to keep good centered movement. So we have a slightly different stretch now. Exhaling out. As this hip just rises, I want to press down. Palming into the muscles. Allowing this to open up and just quite tender, just rolling into this muscle using my thumbs. Yeah, 
inhale exhale so it's a bit like grappling but in a different way I'm having to hook in with my heel probably can't quite see but hook in my heel just to draw that hip straight bring the toes back and just open it up how's that feeling Matt? it's getting well supported here mm -hmm. And when you're stretching out, you want to try to imagine breathing out through this foot, out, up through the leg, out through the foot, which sounds a sort of strange concept, but if we can use our imagination that way, uh, we get a much better connection with our body. Uh, same with kicking, you know. I remember training in Japan and the teacher would say, you know, you kick from your, from your belly and he would, he would describe it almost as like, just bring your awareness and your thinking, as if you're actually looking out from the hara. Uh, and then when you're kicking, kick right the way out through the leg into the target. So good stretch there, good. So I'm going to come up a little bit longer this time. Let's just get a little bit deeper. So I want to come back, I'm taking my hachimachi here. So this is a Japanese headscarf. Normally be worn around the head. Get your hair back. Not, not my hair back. Not your hair back. It's not. You've gone for the monk look. So, from here, hip is in again. I just want to support the kneecap. And now I can just, I can work um, less. Okay, I can just bring my weight down into this. Actually, much you use that to open up the foot. And progressively, just as he exhales out, I'm just bringing that stretch on now. So we've got a nice, good stretch through. If you can hear, but I can hear the stomach is starting to sort of digest and move about a little bit. It's always a good sign. So when we are relaxing into the, the body, as the mind and the body is relaxing, the uh, stomach will often become active. So what I want to do here is just coming out. I'll take one stretch this way first. So again, the hachimachi is just being used as a tool, really. Nothing uh, over complex about what I'm doing there. Just enables me to keep good posture and work my hands as I need to. Inhale. So I'm going to come over to the other side. Nice long stretch through this line here. I'm going to just bring my leg and just bring that knee so now I can just lean in. How's that one feeling? Mm, that's a really good stretch. Really mm. long. Really. And a nice way to practice your cat stance as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. Again, I can just work palms down the outside. Always coming back, checking through the rotation, that hip movement coming in, opening the knee up. I'm going to do one more stretch, it's quite a nice one to uh, practice on your own as well. So you're going to start, your back is nice and straight on the floor, laying flat, take these up. Just do the hip rotation, I've only worked one side so I'm just going to do one stretch here, crossing the leg, and again, using your own body to get the position. So I just want to trap his foot. Inhale, breathing with your recipient, exhaling, just leaning in. You feel that stretch? Just comes in nicely just through the back of the hip and opens up that area of the body. So I said you could do this one on your own. There's two ways of doing it. You could reach around with your hands behind the back of your legs and just draw them into your chest. But a better way would be to do it against a wall. So I take the place of the wall here. Breathing out. Okay. There they come out. We'll go for one more long stretch here. I'm gonna just rise up. 
Again, use my legs to get a nice posture and just stretch up. So I'm stretching for the back of the hamstring now on this left leg. I don't want to rush through any of these stretches. Now a few breaths to go, releasing your jaw. You can just feel that extra moment there of just relaxation and letting go. Again, the jaw, like the neck, uh, is an area where we tend to really lock up tension. So it's important to breathe out through the mouth, in through the nose. And when you're not actually sparring or engaged in some sort of fighting uh, technique, when you're just practicing techniques, it's important to really practice with the right breathing method for what you're doing. And then that way your martial arts has a more health conscious approach to your training. And we're coming up. So again, just to finish, I'll have to come back down. And nice and easy. Relaxing out. Hips a little bit more relaxed. And stretching. And through. And out. And with every session it's important just to Take a quiet moment to come back out. Moment of stillness. And that stillness allows the changes to take place in the body. Shiatsu as a natural body work enables the body to heal itself. It's quite capable of healing itself, given the right framework uh, and environment to do so. Thank you.